Voyager's 15 billion mile software update. In 1977, NASA launched two robotic space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, on an ambitious mission to study the outer planets of our solar system. Now, over four decades later, these intrepid spacecraft are still out there, having traveled an astonishing 15 billion miles from Earth. But how can 40-year-old technology stay operational for so long, especially when the signals from Earth take over 20 hours to reach the spacecraft? The answer lies in the Voyager team's ability to send software updates across billions of miles of space. To start with, the Voyagers were built to last. The engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory designed the spacecraft to be robust and reliable enough to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The Voyagers are powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators that convert heat from the natural decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. This provided plenty of power for the onboard computers, scientific instruments, and communication systems. The computers are based on custom-designed, low-power CMOS chips that are incredibly resistant to radiation damage. Obviously, longevity was a major priority. In addition, the software running on the Voyagers was designed to be updated during the mission. When the spacecraft were launched in 1977, the software was stored on cassette tapes. Commands from Earth were designed to trigger certain routines on the tapes, allowing new instructions to be uplinked. This meant the mission scientists could fix bugs and adjust the flight plan instead of being permanently locked into 1977 technology. The software was updated numerous times during encounters with the outer planets to optimize data collection and spacecraft operations. For example, a critical software update was transmitted to Voyager 2 before it flew by Uranus in January 1986. This in-flight retargeting allowed the spacecraft's instruments to image previously unknown moons that had been discovered in the planet's rings. The new commands enabled Voyager 2 to pivot and take photos of these moons instead of just streaking by. This retargeting allowed Voyager 2 to beam home extremely valuable images and readings from these tiny icy worlds. Remarkably, even after the Voyagers completed their grand tour of the outer planets, their software kept being updated. After Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989, both spacecraft resumed their journey into the depths of interstellar space. There wasn't much left to study out there, so the probes were repurposed by giving them new software instructions. In 1998, Voyager 1 began operating the ultraviolet spectrometer instrument in a new scanning mode to study the solar wind interactions in the outer heliosphere. This allowed the spacecraft to switch from studying distant planets to gathering data on its immediate surroundings in interstellar space. A decade later in 2008, Voyager 2 completed an exhaustive survey for dust impacts out to the orbit of Uranus. This required a flight software update to collect and transmit data from the Cosmic Ray System instrument in a new way. Clearly, software updates have been critical to maximizing the Voyager's scientific output over the course of their exceptionally long missions. But as the decades rolled on, transmitting and implementing these updates became increasingly challenging. As the spacecraft flew deeper into space, their signals grew fainter and required larger antennas on Earth to detect. At the same time, critical Voyager team members began to retire or pass away, threatening the loss of knowledge needed to modify the software. By 2010, the signals from Voyager 1 were taking over 16 hours to reach Earth. With the spacecraft almost 11 billion miles away, the radio dishes of NASA's Deep Space Network had to be at their most sensitive settings to pick up the transmissions from Voyager 1. What's more, the onboard computers and instruments were showing their age under the constant bombardment of radiation and charged particles from the sun. The engineering challenges multiplied. Nevertheless, in 2021, NASA announced they had successfully modified the software on Voyagers 1 and 2 to help compensate for the degradation of key components over time. For example, 
The team reformulated the signals sent to the spacecraft's tired thrusters to make sure they still fired in the right pattern. This involved beaming software patches and new commands from Earth to update the aging control software. The scientists also figured out a way to switch to backup hardware that had been dormant for decades. In 2017, Voyager 1 was able to resume regular contact with Earth after the Deep Space Network and software engineers discovered a workaround for a failed component of the spacecraft's antenna system. The software update allowed them to utilize a pair of backup thrusters that hadn't been needed when they were launched in 1977. Once again, transmitting modified software across billions of miles saved the mission. However, the iconic sea scientists have had to get creative with implementing software updates on these distant probes. Due to their faded signals, it now takes hours upon hours for engineers to transmit commands to Voyager 1 and hear back confirmation. What's more, there are significant constraints on the file sizes that can be transmitted over such vast distances. It's not like we can just upload new software from Earth, explains Dr. Philip Stahl, an engineer on the Voyager team. Instead, the Voyager team typically needs to send patches that involve tweaking certain bits of code rather than doing a whole software overhaul. The commands are carefully bundled together in batches and transmitted one chunk at a time until the full update is complete. It's important that we verify each step is performed correctly before moving on to the next. We can't afford to make mistakes, says Dr. Stahl. For example, when the team needed to modify the spacecraft's thruster software, they had to break the process down into multiple steps, sending commands to switch the thrusters into a diagnostic mode, increasing the voltage on the heaters, then waiting for temperature readouts before finally enabling the next phase of pulses. Each step required verification before the next set of coded instructions could be transmitted by the Deep Space Network's giant radio antennas. According to NASA, one particularly important software update for Voyager 2 took about three hours to beam more than 124 million miles to the spacecraft's position past the orbit of Neptune. Then it took another 19 hours for the signals confirming the software changes had been received and implemented to journey back to Earth. That's some 15 billion miles traveled at light speed for a critical software patch. Looking ahead, NASA is developing new technologies and techniques to help extend the operational lives of the Voyagers and other long-distance probes. For example, optical communications using lasers can achieve much higher bandwidth than traditional radio waves, enabling faster software uploads. NASA also hopes to demonstrate the use of artificial intelligence to help deep space missions operate more autonomously using adaptive self-programming. The Voyager's thrusters and computers are expected to hold out until around 2025, allowing the spacecraft to continue collecting data with some additional software tweaks. After that, the probes will go silent one by one as their power supplies finally dwindle. But even if the spacecraft fall mute, their journey will continue. The Voyager's software upgrades have allowed them to successfully complete their initial mission and bonus objectives far beyond anyone's wildest dreams at launch. Thanks to the determination of mission scientists and engineers on Earth, software updates have enabled NASA's twin Voyagers to keep operating effectively across extraordinary distances and span over four decades. The spacecraft are still out there today, relentlessly voyaging forth into interstellar space and transmitting data that enriches our understanding of the heliosphere. Voyager 1 is now over 14.5 billion miles from Earth, while Voyager 2 has traveled almost 12 billion miles away. The software that guides these iconic spacecraft is a testament to both 1970s engineering and modern innovation. As NASA pushes the boundaries of exploration, software adaptability, and remote updating will remain essential to the Voyager's incredible longevity. No other spacecraft in history have operated for as long or traveled as far as the trusty Voyagers, continuing their mission of discovery even as their humble 1970s computer code keeps chugging away one line at a time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos.